Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So a few months ago, I reviewed the Insta360 ONE RS, which was a modular camera that can be both action camera and a 360 camera. Well, today we're taking a look at the updated Insta360 ONE RS 1-inch one edition, which as the name implies, the big upgrade is coming from the fact that the camera now has a 1-inch sensor. Now this 1-inch sensor is actually for the new 360 degree lens, so there's actually two 1-inch sensors because for 360 cameras, you need two cameras. So what's the benefit of having a 1-inch sensor? You can shoot photos and videos in a little bit higher quality than before. You can now shoot video in 6K resolution and still photos at 21 megapixels. But the bigger benefit is in low light performance because the larger the image sensor, the more light it takes in. So the 1-inch sensor can pull in more light than the previous 360 lens seen in the Insta360 ONE X2 or the Insta360 ONE RS. In fact, the footage you're watching right now is indeed a 360 degree video in 6K resolution shot with the one inch edition. Okay, it is Sunday night, 9 p.m. right now. My girlfriend's out, all my friends are out, but I am stuck here editing because I have to finish this video because I think a lot of you guys know this I do my YouTube channel completely on the side Monday to Friday I have a full-time job that takes up all my time so I can only do YouTube on the weekend so if you enjoy my videos please consider subscribing to my channel because it really helps me a lot but you know no real complaints because I really love testing gadgets so I'm okay to do it on my weekend so anyway this is the new Insta360 ONE RS 1 inch edition as you can see this guy is quite a bit bigger than previous Insta360 cameras. This is the ONE RS, so this is the ONE inch edition, this is the standard ONE RS, and then this is the Insta360 ONE X2. So this is much bigger. The reason for that is because the ONE inch edition has to be used with this new mounting bracket. Let me remove the mounting bracket. So this is the new mounting bracket. There's a larger battery in here than the battery base in the ONE RS. And it also has a better microphone too than in the Insta360 ONE X2 and the ONE RS. So that opening footage you saw of me walking in the street, all the sound was coming directly from the internal mic of this bracket. Not bad considering the whole time the camera was like at least four feet away from my mouth and I was walking on a noisy street. And this is the actual one inch lens. So if you remove the one inch lens and you look at the Insta360 ONE RS core, it is the exact same core as this Insta360 ONE RS. So that means this core will also work with the 4K action lens mod that you've plugged in. But if you want to use the one inch edition, you have to buy the one inch edition to get this one inch lens mod. So this whole kit, this one inch lens, this new mounting battery bracket, and the core together is one kit and it's selling for 649 US dollars. So yeah, that's a little bit high. We're reaching a price where I guess it's not for the average consumer anymore. This is now for the prosumer level. But I guess if you want to shoot 360 videos with a one inch sensor, you are definitely not an average casual consumer anyway. So anyway, plugging this thing in is pretty easy. There are these pins here that you just have to push in like that and then you just stick it back into the mounting bracket and then there's a button on the side that you press to turn on the camera and then once you turn on the camera you can see your footage right here on the screen so you can cycle through all the different shooting modes so you can shoot 360 videos 21 megapixel photos and you can shoot time-lapse videos all that and you can also preview the 360 footage that you are shooting or about to shoot so this camera you can use completely standalone like this you don't have to pair it with a phone before you start shooting you can just start shooting like this so if you're new to insta360 videos you may be wondering how the footage i showed you earlier looked like the camera's flow above me as if it was like a drone well basically what I did was I put this Insta360 ONE RS 1 inch edition on a selfie stick and I extended the selfie stick and I just shot myself like this and Insta360 software is intelligent enough to erase the selfie stick from the video you don't have to do anything it's automatically erased so it looks like the camera is just floating in front of you if you look closer on my hand you can see that I'm holding something but you don't see the selfie stick now, as I said, the biggest benefit of having a one inch sensor, and it's also co-engineered by Leica too. So this is a one inch Leica sensor, is that 
it takes in more light. And you can see from low light footage right here that the one inch sensors video is just sharper and less noisy than the footage I captured with the Insta360 ONE X2. Now just because this guy exists does not mean the Insta360 ONE X2 or the Insta360 ONE RS are now obsolete because these two are still very very capable and they're like a couple hundred dollars cheaper. So I think for a lot of people something like an Insta360 ONE X2 is still a better option because the real benefit of this camera over this one is if you're shooting 360 degree videos in low light conditions. If you don't really care about that, if you only use your cameras out in good daylight, then you should save some money and just get the One X2 instead. But there are a couple more benefits to the One Inch Edition. Like I said, the battery is a little bit larger, so you can shoot longer. This thing can shoot for up to 60 minutes on a single charge. That's quite good. Now there are a couple of ways for you to move the files you shot here to your phone or computer. So with the phone, you use the mobile app, which is available on iOS and Android. And for most people, the mobile app will already be good enough. You can make edits to the video directly on the mobile app and you can share it directly to social media via the Insta360 mobile app too, or you can render and then export and save it to your phone storage. But if you care to get the absolute best quality, Insta360 suggests you use the desktop app, which is available for Mac OS and Windows. Okay, so this is the Insta360 Studio app and I've already loaded my files here. Files are stored in an SD card inside the core. So you just have to take out the SD card, move it over to your computer, load it into the software. And now you can play the 360 video and see everything in its uh, 360 degree 6K glory. Look at how sharp everything is. You can zoom in to look closer or you can zoom out. You can pan around and just see whatever you want. Now, 360 degree videos are cool and all if you have a VR headset or if you like to use Facebook because Facebook supports 360 degree photos or videos. But for me, I don't really use Facebook and I don't really use a VR headset. So what I like to do is instead of exporting a 360 degree video, I like to reframe the video by panning and finding angles that I like, and then export that video as a normal, like flat 2D video, meaning not a 360 degree video anymore. I export it as a normal video that can then go live on Instagram or Twitter. In fact, the footage that you watch here, it's a reframe video. These are not 360 degree videos. So to do this, Insta360 has made it pretty easy in its uh, software you can do this in the studio or the mobile app too in the studio it's a little bit easier because you have such a big screen to play with so all you have to do is go, go down here go with this plus symbol and then you have different viewpoints that you can pick from or you can just manually select yourself by using your mouse or trackpad to zoom in and out so i'm just gonna add this right here to start the framing right here on my face and then let's say i want to zoom out a little bit to show my whole body then I'm gonna zoom out like this. Then I hit the plus again to lock this framing. And then let's say now I wanna move forward to show what I'm looking at. And I zoom in a little bit. Then I hit this plus again to lock this angle. I'm gonna play the video and you're gonna see that it's gonna incorporate all the, all the angles that I chose. And I can export this video and it will render as a normal video that I can post on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. So I think now you see the appeal of having a 360 camera like this, right? For me, at least for me, it's not really to shoot 360 degree videos. It's to shoot a video that captures everything around me, the entire world around me. And then when I get home, I can render that out into a normal video that can move around and pan. I can play director after the fact. And to be honest, I really feel like these cameras are kind of wasted on me because at most I'm filming videos of myself walking around the streets or maybe riding a bike. If you actually go on Insta360 social media channels like Instagram, you can see that, man, this camera is really popular with adventurers, like people who skydive, crazy stuff like that. If you're an adventurer and you want to document your adventures, you want to document yourself bungee jumping off a cliff, this camera is perfect because you can capture everything and now with this new one inch edition everything and i'll put a video that looks a little bit better 
than before. I mean, it's like $200 more expensive, but I think for a lot of professional adventurers, $200 is worth it to get better video. Anyway, that's about it for this review. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to keep up to date with all the latest gadgets, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. I have a lot more stuff coming up. It's a very busy week. I, I can't show you right now, but I have like five or six devices that I have to test. So I'm not done working. It is Sunday night, 9.30 right now. I'm not done working. I have at least another three hours of work. And then tomorrow, Monday, I start my day job. So yeah, thanks for watching.